Conservative New Media viewers, we've got another developing tropical storm story to report on this morning. A weather event which started out as Tropical Depression 12 and now has developed into Tropical Storm Katya is expected to become Hurricane Katya by this Thursday, September 1st, at the latest. Now, what you're looking at on the screen is not Tropical Storm Katya. There is no available image of Katya that we were permitted to use at this time. The image seen here is of Hurricane Isabel in 2003. Katya is currently very far east in the North Atlantic Ocean. It is several hundred miles to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, which sit to the west of Africa. We will include several links about this story in the video description below the video player. The first two of those links, to an AP story and to the National Hurricane Center, respectively, will give you a picture of where Katya is at when this video was made. Conservative New Media will continue to follow and update this story as it develops. We will include updates in the video description as the story unfolds, and we will make follow-up videos on the subject if necessary. According to the National Weather Center's graphic, it appears as though Katya could become a major hurricane by this weekend. A major hurricane is classified as one in which there are sustained winds of greater than 110 miles per hour. Such a hurricane is labeled a Category 3 or above storm on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale. We will include a link to that scale in the video description. A report from ABC 25 in West Palm Beach, Florida says that it is possible that Katya could threaten the Caribbean but it is not known at this time whether or not the storm may strike the United States mainland. Reporting for Conservative New Media, this is Paul F. Villarreal. The image used in this video was created by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration of the United States. Neither NASA nor the NASA employee who created this image, Jacques de Clatre, endorsed this video. Neither do NASA or Mr. De Clatre endorse conservative new media or conservative new media's current sponsor, AeroGolf. And now a word about our sponsor. This video and all conservative new media YouTube videos for the month of August 2011 are sponsored by AeroGolf. AeroGolf is paying John D. Villarreal, my brother and the owner of conservative new media, for this sponsorship and promotional consideration, AeroGolf is also paying John D. Villarreal for videos we create about AeroGolf and their products. However, all such sponsored videos are owned by John D. Villarreal. Additionally, Conservative New Media possesses complete editorial control of all of the sponsored videos. AeroGolf gave John D. Villarreal a free Aero Caddy. Cedar Joiner of AeroGolf is my cousin. All opinions are solely my own and are my own honest opinions. Let me tell you this, CNM viewers. If you or someone you know is a golfer or just a fan of outdoor sports, I think you should check out our videos with AeroGolf. I think the videos are pretty cool and compelling. Now, I'm not the world's biggest golfer, but in my opinion, and after having checked out the AeroGolf.net website and having watched AeroGolf's The AeroCaddy YouTube video, I have to say that I feel AeroGolf's product looks pretty good. And at just $20, the AeroCaddy could be just the kind of inexpensive find you've been seeking for yourself or for the sports fan in your life. I want to reiterate that all of this presentation is personal opinion only. Not alleging any facts, not casting any aspersions. All for entertainment and parody purposes only. Check all of the disclaimers, including the one found in the video description below the video player.